So let me explain what we call as the monopoly. If you look at uh, uh, roughly 50,000 crores worth of pathology diagnostics business in India, Dr. Lal is merely two, two and a half thousand crores out of that, right? Uh, so it is not a 60% market share in a 50,000 crore industry. Unlike Asian Paints, where it is a 60% market share, in, interestingly, in the same sized industry, organized industry there. Now, the difference is, uh, Asian Paints is 60% of the organized industry. Here you are looking at Dr. Lal in the overall, which is a heavily unorganized industry. Organized industry in India, in diagnostics, is barely 15%, one five, right? Dr. Lal Path Labs is 40% of that. The entire organized industry in India is around six to 7,000 crores. Dr. Lal Path Labs is around 2,500 crores out of that, right? Uh, that's the dominance. Now. Let's look at it like this. Healthcare is a regional subject, right? Uh, you can advertise on TV a soap or a detergent and expect from Kashmir to Kanyakumari everybody to see that advertisement and make a decision on whether to buy it or not. You can't do that with hospitals. You can't do that with healthcare. It has to have the doctor connect. It has to have the medical fraternity. It has to have the trust built with customers that can't be built overnight across state borders, right? And hence, you haven't seen uh, too many pan-India hospitals making money. You haven't seen even a Dr. Lal organically being successful in Bombay, and even a Dr. Lal organically being su successful in South in the last 20 years, right? So you look at Dr. Lal where it is present, and hence, half of India goes out. The same 35-40% uh, market share that you talked about within Organize that Dr. Lal has, you remove half of India. In fact, in North and East, within organized space, Dr. Lal's market share is similar to what Asian Paints is, right? 55, 60%. So in the place where it operates, it has monopolized it. But then it needs to do concentric circles. Otherwise, like Sir was asking, Asian Paints will become a Colgate Palmolive. Ho gaya, 90% penetration of the industry. Colgate Palmolive majority market share and gone. There's no growth. You grow at 5%, right? So that's where concentric circles means you do suburban, you do wellness, et cetera, et cetera, and you grow. That's the top-down view. The bottom-up view to answer your question is you have to build competitive advantages to drive growth. The competitive advantages in Dr. Lal's case are around supply chain of sample collection to report generation, Dr. Connect to ensure that just because somebody is uh, Tiger Global or Sequoia funded, can't come in and overnight take market share away from you in illness diagnostics, right? And hence, gradually, you build on to that capability. In future, Dr. Lal is doing many other things, right? So this is what Dr. Lal has, uh, has done in the recent past. Um, when you compare it against a metropolis, a Thyroke, Thyroke is one of the e-pharmacies, right? Pharmacy. When you compare it against its competition, this is X COVID, X inorganic, this is just purely organic, same old, same old. Uh, the gap between Dr. Lal and others is massive, it's wide. It was never this wide until three years ago to begin with, right? Then if you read the three bullets down there, what they have implemented in the last six months is something that will even further deepen their competitive advantages. Dr. Lal was not a company which till four years ago would use technology to its benefit. It was just like a page industries was in 2017-18. It was great on processes. They were relatively fewer systems. In fact, page didn't even have a CIO, chief in IT officer, till 2018, right? Only after they underwent a massive turmoil, they built that capability. In Dr. Lal's case, something very similar has happened. In the last three years, they have been challenged unsuccessfully by some of the e pharmacies in areas where Dr. Lal hadn't hitherto built moats. And last six months, they've started delivering on something, a journey that they started three years ago to build moats in direct to consumer, as in lead generation via app and website, something that they never focused on. Uh, uh, when you do a Google AdSense, AdWords type of a, a, a search, Dr. Lal wasn't appearing previously as one of the top uh, outcomes. It does so now. When it comes to uh, getting samples from hospitals, the previous approach was just undercut on pricing of the competitor and get it. There's a different way to do it now. 
and uh, hence the business is building stronger and deeper moats. Right? There isn't any other way in which uh, uh, we expect a company in our portfolio to go about.